Conference Championship pickup. <laughs> Jesus Christ. This, we should have practiced. We didn't practice once, but it's all right. We're here. We're here. We're back for the AFC and NFC Championship game, making picks for both. And uh, I'm sure we'll come up with some shenanigans to talk about. I don't know what the hell was it last week. Something about don't stay close, too close to the microwave and sperm count. I think came up last week, so we'll Eat see. Too cold, yeah. too cold for Tua. Too cold for Tua last week. All right, so we got two games to pick. We're here on Monday night. It's weird. It doesn't feel right. We're usually Tuesday night, but I'll have my score predictions. We got free agency content, draft content, more of that to come. Join us, like, subscribe, so notifications on. Next week, there's no pick 'em because there's no game. Super Bowl is a week off. We uh, started doing our awards live stream, and we have some other, you know, Q and A, some fun talk during that. That'll be next week. So join us for that. Turn notifications on. Follow us on Twitter. A lot of updates there. Check out those sponsors, Liquid IV, GLD Shop, Code GOAT. Link's pinned in the comments. Let's take a look at those standings. This playoff standings is me and Yeller at the top with six. Junior and Pete tied in second with five or third. Would that be third? I don't know. Uh, and then the season champ only has two uh, in the yeah, playoffs. Sucks. But no, he's, you're just really ripping into him. He dominated the regular season, all right? doesn't matter what you do in the regular season. Just ask the Cowboys. This is true. Uh, all right, so only two games to pick this week. Let's see what we got. The AFC Championship game. You know what I noticed? Both games are three versus one. The three seed versus wow. the one seed. Interesting. Uh, but AFC Championship, Chiefs versus Ravens. Mm. Who do you guys got? Mm. This is a tough one. My space bar just popped out of my keyboard. What happens if I... No. No, nothing happened. I thought it was going to change uh, to the next matchup if I clicked it. Whoa. I don't know what's going on with it. All right, guys, I'll do it. Okay. I'll start us off. Start us off. It. Start us off. Just do uh, it. it hurts me to do this. Oh, no. It hurts me. Oh. It really hurts me to do this. I'm taking the Chiefs. He's taking oh, the wow. Chiefs. Why does it hurt? I just... It hurts because I don't want to see I like all this. I, the Chiefs have quickly grown into a team. I just hate seeing them on TV, and because um, of Kelsey, I don't like when they. I mean, the I find Swift, myself Swifty Kelsey because of yes, because of Kelsey and T Swift. But it's like weird because I I used to enjoy watching them play. Now every time they're on, I'm just hoping they lose, <laughs> and I have no affiliation to anything they're doing. But I'm taking them here. I just feel good about them. They got the experience. You feel good, but it hurts the, at the same time. It it hurts. How bad like does it hurt? Does it hurt like a bear? It, it, I, I don't know what that means. That exactly. statement. Yeah, okay. It definitely hurts it's like okay. a bear. It hurts like a bear. Okay. Let me know mm -hmm. in the comments if you ever heard anyone say it hurts like a bear. Someone has to have said that. Someone's heard that? I've never heard it until, what was that, a gym teacher? Was that uh, high school or middle school? He got stung by a bee. Middle school. Middle school, he got stung by a bee, like, mid-class, and he was, like, going to cry, and he said it hurts like a bear. So, I don't it know. It hurts like a bear. It hurts like a bear. So, it hurts Junior like a maybe, bear. Maybe, too. maybe he wanted to swear, and he just, like, couldn't. That's what came out. So, yeah. All right. Okay. hurts like a, I don't even know what he was going for. Well, let me know in the comments if you yeah. ever heard it hurts like a bear. Um, all right. Hurts like a bear, but he's going with the Chiefs. He's feeling good about yep. it at the same time. All right, Pete, what do you got? You were you were bringing up a good point. Me? Junior about a, no, Pete. Junior or about junior. Uh, the Chiefs. Like it just hurts. Like it's it's not even like fun to watch them anymore. It's just like it's just like so boring. Like when I was when that game ended uh, on Sunday yesterday, when the game ended, the Chiefs Bills game, I was like. Like really? Like we did this it was literally the same breaking thing. Breaking news, we, Pete. Pete, breaking news. The Titans the Titans plan to hire Bengals offense coordinator Brian Callahan as their next head coach. Look at that. Ladies and gentlemen. All right. Clap it up. All right, you guys clap. You keep talking. Let me tweet this out. Wow. Um they couldn't wait for Mike McDonald. They just couldn't wait any longer. They were like, We gotta have Callahan. The Titans kinda had a feel what? The Titans. <laughs> He's oh, a little excited. I am. I I was telling I was telling Riz that this weekend I was like 
I'm really high on Callahan. And then all of a sudden I watched McDonald. I watched the Ravens defense. I was like, oh, I'm really high on McDonald. But I was like, I want one of the two. Like, if we get one of the, one of those two, like, I'll be happy. Like, I liked – I just – like, the more research I did, the more I kind of looked into everybody. I, I liked Callahan and, and McDonald the most. And then slow, it kind of dropped on my list a little bit. I knew Ben Johnson was kind of out of the question because – didn't seem like he wanted to come to Tennessee. He like took up some interviews elsewhere and, and didn't even like now they have, they would have to wait till after the Lions were eliminated to even talk with him at all, like even virtually. So just seemed like he wasn't interested in the Titans at all. So kind of took him out. But um, I saw today the limited amount of time I got to actually look on Twitter that uh, they were really seemed like they were really pushing for Callahan all of a sudden, like because I think they were worried that. The Panthers were going to offer him right away, um, so yeah, they, they they went for him and um, saw some stuff on. I'm talking about this, we'll talk about this for a while. I saw some stuff. He, him and Zach Taylor were doing a lot of research on Will Levis uh, last year, and like they talked with Liam Cohen. They've had relationship relationships with Liam Cohen uh, because of the Rams, um, and Liam Cohen was his offensive coordinator at Kentucky. So, see, I feel like. Callahan's going to know what to do with Levis and he's done a great job with Burrow. He did a great job. What really impressed me is what he did with Browning. Like the Bengals were still in it with, with Jake Browning, who was kind of a, a cast off from so many other teams. They changed their offense to fit how, how Browning, uh, his style of play. So I feel like he's a really good coach, gets along with his players really well, adapts to his players. So I'm excited. I saw a, also saw that uh, they brought in Thomas Thomas Brown for an interview today, and so Buck Rising was saying that it wouldn't be out of the wouldn't it would not be like an impossible thing that Brown comes in as the OC with Callahan as the head coach. So we'll see if that actually happens. That'd be that'd be interesting because they're both again Callahan learned from Zach Taylor who was with the Rams. Brown was with the Rams as well. Um, so it would be interesting. All right, back to uh, the Chiefs and Ravens. <laughs> you said Junior had a point. Oh, no, oh, you, already went, point. It. you already went over You already went over it. Thank yeah. you. I went, I went over it. I was like, I was waiting for the Bills to finally knock the Chiefs off, and it, it, was, the same, it was the same thing. It was, it, there was a back-and-forth game, and, like, it, it was entertaining, but it was, like, at the end it was just boring because it was, it was, like, it's so disappointing that the Chiefs were – here we go again. The Chiefs are back in the AFC Championship. It's just – God, it's getting annoying, and I'm I'm sick and tired of it. And the Ravens are going to end it right now. They're going to the Super Bowl. They're going to the bowl. With it. I told you, I told you when the playoffs started. I was going. I know it was boring, but I was going Ravens Niners one versus one. Give me the Ravens. Uh, Yeller is going with the Ravens as well. Uh, Larry, not a huge Chiefs guy. He's going with the Ravens. And this is a tough one, 50-50. I'm with Junior. I'm going to take the Chiefs. Uh, things just don't change. They rarely change. Things kind of stay the same. I think the Chiefs will end up getting back to the Super Bowl. Um, the Ravens really haven't seen Patrick Mahomes this year, anything like it. Um, I mean, the closest thing was probably that Rams offense, and they actually struggled a little bit against it. And the Ravens, the key is the, they might run all over them, and the defense is something, but – uh, I actually think Spagnola and the Chiefs defense will have a good game plan for the Ravens as well. But I think it's going to be tight, a squeaker, maybe a one-point game. I can smell the Chiefs, or yeah, Patrick Mahomes Chiefs game-winning touchdown drive in the last seconds. I can smell it. It's going to happen. And a game-changing, roughing the pass recall that's going to kind maybe. of third and long that's going to get him the first down. Kind of a gut feeling this, here, uh, just on this pick. The Ravens honestly should win uh, with that. I think defense. this could be a low scoring, low scoring one. Yeah, low twenties. Wonder what the over the, the the over is for the the, the the you know you know what I'm talking about over under the stats department on that over under over under is forty four and a half. Yeah, I mean that's yeah right around there. It's about right around. Right. That's right around where it should be. Yeah, I think it's going to be battle of some defenses. You know, some it might be a little boring, but like you know, with a lot of punting, but not. I don't think there'll be a lot of turnovers. Really, I think it'll just be a lot of punting. I think, I think the Ravens just will have a little bit more success. I just believe. I mean, their defense. I just 
they don't really have a superstar pass rusher, but like, my God, they just get after the quarterback. Yeah, they somehow. find ways. But if you if you uh, if you blitz Mahomes, he gets better. They don't really blitz though. They just they, they have like those simulated pressure those simulated pressures where like it looks like they're blitzing and then they drop guys back and I think Mahomes you don't know who's could, uh, coming or not and it just works out. And we'll then like see. this Chiefs offensive line, this Chiefs offensive line is not not great. I mean, it's it's there's some there's some really good pieces, but there's definitely weaknesses and. I don't think the, I mean the Bills don't have a very good pass rush. I think this is uh this is definitely a big step up, big big challenge here for the Chiefs O line. Uh it's a step up for the Ravens too, playing the Texans and going to play the Chiefs, play Mahomes. They haven't seen a guy like that this year. If Joe Tooney is out, which I got there was good news today on Joe Tooney. If he's out, I would probably lean Ravens because that's their best offensive lineman. Um but we will see. It should be a good one there, but yeah, I mean, is there is there a script though? You know that it was that leak of uh, the Ravens versus the Niners in the Super Bowl. It was like already uh, a thing. Yeah, so you got to go with. Yeah, so maybe, or maybe it's just the Chiefs once again. We'll see. Good old fashioned split on the picks. We're moving on to the NFC championship game of the Detroit Lions the three seed going to San Francisco the one seed Niners didn't look that great last week and barely escaped the Packers honestly the Packers might have outplayed them a little bit um, and the Lions handled business against the Bucks pretty close in the first half but they you can see in the second half who the better team was and the Lions pulled away um, I think their defense looks a little bit better than uh, most most of the season both these teams stopped the run very well. Will that continue in this game against each other? Very good rush offenses. So this could be a pretty good one. I wonder what Niners show up because Purdy was a little off. Shanahan was off. Debo got hurt right away, and they just were off in general. They had they closed out the game very well, and that's what did it. But if they come out like that again, they could lose or they can win in the same fashion. So, But we'll see if that happens two weeks in a row and how they, they come out in this one. But um, – Yeller, Yeller will start. He'll, he's going with the Niners. Mm-hmm. Naturally, yep. Naturally? Uh, yeah, I feel like he's a big Niners guy at heart. Uh, I'm going to have to take the Niners as well here. Uh, you did touch on kind of how the, the Detroit defense has been playing better than the regular season, and that has probably been the most impressive thing for them coming out of coming into the playoffs. But I just think that the Niners are way better. I think that they just got to get out, kind of get out hot. They can't have this kind of slow starter i think the lions can get them there pete yeah i mean i like i like the niners too i already told you guys the last pick i'm sticking with my super bowl picks but i think the thing that could be really dangerous for them is um i mean their their run defense isn't isn't that great like we saw aaron jones get loose on the niners and like the you know the lions want to want to they do want to run the ball um with gibbs and montgomery i think that's the way the Lions have to win the game almost actually is keep the ball on the ground and um, and trust it and keep feeding those guys. They had a good game plan. It seemed like Ben Johnson had a really good game plan with, with those counters and Penny Sewell pulling and it seemed like those plays were working a ton against the Bucks and the Bucks got a pretty solid run defense. Um, but yeah, I think I think that's going to be the key for the Lions. But I just think their magic's kind of going to run out here. I mean, they kind of, like we talked about, they – some things went their way in the Rams game. Like they could easily be the Rams right here. I think the the Bucks, you know, they had a great season. Like it was a good story, but I don't think it was that tough of a competition for the Lions. This is a big, big step up here. Yeah, that was kind of. Well, I'm, I'm gonna go with the Niners. I'm gonna go with the Niners. I think uh, I think the better team. But kind of what Pete was saying that yeah they played the the Rams which was an even matchup could have went either way the Lions squeaked by at home uh, and then we knew they were better in the Bucks or most of us did uh, and they hey. handled handle it there uh, it wasn't supposed to be a shot I'm just I just kind of corrected myself because someone was going to say well not everyone picked the Lions but most of us picked the Lions uh, Niners are a different challenge obviously. And the Lions were at home in both those games, but a cr- the crowd was crazy. Credit to that crowd, too. Um, the fans showing the support, and they got insanely loud in there. I mean, the Lions even had to quiet them down at times, like when they're in the huddle. Uh, but now they got to travel to San Francisco uh, and play a much better team. And I mean, the Lions are really good. They could win. 
Uh, and, and then they're going to need the Niners to kind of come out flat. Like, and the Niners weren't that flat last week, but they're probably going to need that. I think the biggest difference b- between these two teams, besides that it's in, it's in San Francisco after playing the Lions playing at home, and then not you know much different than playing the last two teams. I think the you know they're both good on offense. You know, both can run, both can pass, both can stop the run. Uh, the Lions pass defense is what is like the odd man out situation, and it's not the best. It played better last week, but even Mike Evans was kind of getting free. Um, so the Niners should be effective in the pass game. But the Lions do stop the run very well. But I, who are you taking, the Lions' run defense or McCaffrey and the Niners' run offense? Yeah. I, I, uh, I, my money is on the the Niners' run offense have uh, uh, doing enough. And are they going to go think, uh... absolutely wild? No, but they could. Um, if the Lions shut that down, they may win the game, but they still may not. I think IU could have a game with getting his get him getting separation. I think just multiple signs kind of point towards the Niners. I think they could win in an ass beating. I'm not saying I'm predicting it, but the Niners, those emotional wins and being at home and now going away to just a much different team, um, just 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 so much different. You know, I I think that could uh it could be a big challenge here. Yeah, I think uh. The Lions, uh, their pass rush might struggle a little bit against against this Niners offense. I think Hutchison, if he's lined up against Trent Williams, it's going to be a tough matchup for him. But um, other I think they'll rush around, him inside so, uh, a bit, but I don't know if that'll yeah, work. Yeah, the other like way stunts. around, I was, I was – when we were watching the Lions game, I was saying, like, they might have the best offensive line in football. Like, their offensive line is ridiculous. But, I mean, the Niners have so many, so many different guys on that D-line – and Frank Ragnow is a little banged up. You could see Hargrave having a having a really good game here, um, and you could see Bosa. I think. I think it, obviously Penny Sewell's had, had a ridiculous year, but and Taylor Decker is really good too. But I think that Taylor Decker is probably the guy that you want Bosa lined up against. I think he's. I mean, we we know Bosa's one of the best in the league. So, yeah, Goff might be in some trouble. I don't think he'll get pressured too much. Um, yeah, again, I think their O line is might them O line might be the best best in the league this year. I mean, Gabe Jackson's going to be out, so they're missing a guard. I, I don't think that's going to completely change the offensive line because uh, it's well coached and they're still really good pieces and they're still all going to do their jobs. But um, it, it is a loss right there. He's a solid guard. Uh, we'll see how Ragnow holds up. I think he's the best center in football, and people kind of give me shit for that because people automatically assume Kelsey. But I think right now, today, what I've seen, the impact, I think Ragnow is the best center in football. Um, so we'll see because he's probably not going to be 100%. He was still really good at you know, 80 90 80%, we'll say, in that last game. Different challenge here uh, against the Niners. So it just it feels like a team that the Lions really haven't seen this year either. Like I don't like they've, they've beaten good teams, but uh, it's a totally different team. Um, than anything they've seen. Uh, maybe the most similar is the Ravens because the balance, good defense, good rushing offense, and Lions struggle with them a little bit. Um, but so do the Niners. So that uh, you know maybe a pretty similar matchup for the Niners and the Packers. They struggle with them a little bit. So it could be a pretty good game. But we'll see in San Francisco. If it was in Detroit with that crowd, I think it maybe it could be you know could be a different type of game. I think I would probably still pick the Niners, but I think it'd be really really close. Um, and then the regular season champ to Larry Eggs is going with the Niners as well. He said Broncos country, let's ride. He ended with that. So, uh, oh. well, all right. Well, okay. So that's a that's a going house guarantee with the Niners. There we had a little bit of a split with the Chiefs. I'm glad we had some differences. I was on the fence with the the Ravens should beat the Chiefs, but guts telling me Mahomes just gets it done. So it's just every year. I, I say it every year. It's kind of the same old stuff. It doesn't mean the same exact thing will happen every single year, but for the most part, it's it takes some time. Maybe we could bank on the Chiefs Bills happening every single year the same way. Yeah. Well, the Bills. Really just to... The Bills choke. They can't get over the hump. The Packers. Even though the Packers exceeded expectations, they kind of choke in the playoffs. The Cowboys cannot win in the playoffs. The Chiefs go for you know Mahomes dominates. Chiefs go further than you think. Um, these are the same things. The Lions is the only difference, but it took how many years and how much change for that to finally change. So I, I think it's when it comes. I think regular season things change can change somewhat often, but when it comes to the playoffs, it takes a long time for things to actually be different. Um, and I guess we'll see how much because di- there's going to be a little bit of a difference. But the Ravens have been a team that really couldn't get over the hump. 
uh, in the past, mainly because they couldn't stay healthy. They're pretty healthy right now. So we'll see what happens in that game. Um, and the Niners have been a- been able to get they get to the Super Bowl, but they been, haven't been able to kind of finish the job, and they haven't been healthy too right now. They're pretty healthy. We'll see if Debo plays up, and that's a big one right there. Um, so we will see. Any Anything else we want to touch on? Uh, I'd like to touch on something unrelated. Um, I don't know if this is like right or wrong of me, but today I was on the I was on an airplane, a couple of them actually, and uh, this guy next to me decides to like bust out his own snacks that he brought, which is great. That's a good move. Always oh, should bring your own snacks on the plane. They're gonna charge you crazy at the airport. Okay. Uh, but but this dude probably busted out the two worst foods you can bust out in terms of just smell. Um, and he, he had a Greek yogurt, first of all, okay. Greek, the entire plane couldn't stand it. wanted to say something, didn't say something uh, I don't, what, after Greek his Greek yogurt. yogurt smell? I don't think it what? has a, Greek yogurt has a smell to it. Oh, it's pungent. I don't know. Pungent. Depends on, I it's guess. strong. All right. Okay. And then after this, after this, he busts out a bag of Lay's, uh, sour cream and onions. Oh God. And I was like, what is this guy doing? That's a hell of a combo. This guy's disgusting. Back to back. Back Back to back. Greek yogurt, yogurt, uh, sour cream and onion chips. And I couldn't even, like, I I, like, I kept, like, looking at him, trying to make him, like, I was trying to tell him with my eyes, hey, put that away. Make him feel weird. (laughs) Yeah, and it didn't work. He just kept kept going to town. And then then he just kept, like, going knee to knee with me, and that was uncomfortable. I don't know why I just decided to talk about that, but it's on my mind. That was today. This morning. Yeah, that was t- that was uh yeah that was this morning. Good times. Kind of afternoon, time. but uh, yeah, that's people, all I got. For you. That's all you got. Yeah, it's, I just people these days. Did, did anybody I feel like I run into a lot of weirdos out on the streets? Did he, anybody take their shoes off? Go barefoot in the, on the plane? Not that I saw. If I saw him knocking them out, that's a good move. It's what you have to do. It's like your obligation to do that. Yeah, you better have shoes on that your toes are covered. <laughs> especially in the like, especially in the winter. Like if you're if you're getting on a plane, like you're just I think you're just trolling. Like if if you got your feet out, you're trolling. Right, but what this is where like, all right, let me play a little devil devil's advocate on you. What if they're going to Florida and it's winter time? Can they come ready to go in their flip flops, or is that like wait till you get there? Uh, I think it's a wait till you get there, but I guess. Maybe we give him a pass. I don't even know if he get. I think I don't. I, I don't want to see. I don't want to see your bare feet. I don't think we give him a pass. Put socks on yeah. with the flip flops. Yeah, An- I'm, ankle I'm socks. Come on, thin ankle socks. Yeah. Can they Cover can be the up. thinnest of ankle socks? That's fine. Cover the damn toes up. All right. Have you ever tried toe socks? No. They're really good for you. They're good for you. Yeah, so that you don't get that little toe rubbage and get those little blisters on your toes from them uh, run, rubbing. Okay. Because each little toe is in its own little thing, you know what right. I mean? Right. I don't really get blisters. I get blisters on my heels uh, just from my cleats. But I, other than that, I don't really get blisters on the toes. So I don't know if it's a – I'd like to experience those, see how it feels. Maybe I'll get some. Yeah, my, that's my, my, weird. I'm telling you, that's annoying, you know, like – Make sure the socks like perfect how you're putting it on almost. Well, you only got to do that one time. <laughs> my my boss would just walk around the office in his toe socks. Okay. He's an oddball though. Oddball. Yeah. Um. You're right. I'm tired. I don't know why. This is mm. not. We're usually doing this video on Tuesday. I'm thrown off right now. Yeah, I'm in the mountains right now. You're in the mountains? Let's see the mountains. Can you I see them? I think it's too dark. I think it's too dark to see the mountains. Let me check. De- definitely too dark to see the mountains. <laughs> definitely too dark. Mountains of El Paso? But the mountains of El Paso, Texas. But yes. you're working in New Mexico, right? Yeah. So how far? This was the, it's right on the border, I'm, right? I, I'm 15 minutes away from where I got to be. 15 minutes, okay. So it was either fly to Albuquerque and drive four hours to here Guys, or fly into El Paso. Yeah. So I think it was kind of a no, no, no brainer. No brainer. Yeah. And you got a little Broncos country on the way. 
Yeah, I had a little stop in Denver, and I was trying to take like an altitude reading, but before I could even do that, I realized where I was, and I was in the Denver airport. And uh, if you know, you know, so you can't really stay, you, you can't help but be, uh, I guess just, you, you can't help but look around when you're at that at that airport. Just oh. some interesting things. Interesting things or people? Things. Things? Yeah. Whenever, uh, whenever you say late night, have a nice little late night YouTube wormhole and go just look up the Denver airport. Just look it up. Okay. It's a, we- weird, it's a weird place. weird place? I didn't know that. Weird, weird place. I didn't know that. I'll have to, I'll have to look it up. Mm-hmm. Let us know if you've been to the Denver airport. Is that just the Denver airport? Is the only one or what? Yeah, they uh, is the new one because they they built the new one and it replaced the old one. So there's only so one the only Denver, Denver airport. It's not like Chicago. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, so let us know if you've been to the Denver airport in the comments. Uh, let me know your thoughts on it, and <laughs> would love to hear. People it. know. Oh, people, people know. I'm sure there's gonna be the, there's gonna be Broncos fans in here. Maybe the Broncos fans aren't tuning in because they don't want to hear about the Chiefs. I don't know. Um, yeah, they got boosters for people. outside. They got what? There's a. I just, one of the weird things is there's a statue of a horse with blue eyes out front that the they Denver call Lucifer. It's 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 just creepy. Did you ride it? Uh, no. Okay. All right. Anything? Award show next week. Award show and Lord stream. We haven't streamed since the draft. We're gonna do that again this year. So getting it set up might be. I might the graphics guy is probably gonna have to get on it. I'm gonna have to put him on it. But he's the graphics guy. What does he know about it? I don't know. Um, something will probably be all jacked up. But we'll figure it out. We'll have a fun time. Uh, maybe we'll drink. Did we drink uh, apple juice last year? Maybe we'll do that again. And then, uh, uh, and it'll be a good time. I don't. We'll see. We'll see you there. I'm nervous about it. I'm nervous about. It. I'm yep. gonna have. I'm gonna have a Pete moment. Pete moment. Uh, we're gonna have to make our. We're gonna have to pick our awards. We're gonna have to vote. <laughs> What's uh, what's what does that mean? I don't know what that means. Remember when uh, we were streaming and AJ Brown got traded live? <laughs> oh, you're talking the draft. <laughs> yeah, we're talking the awards. Of the awards oh, oh, oh during the draft, you're gonna have a a peep moment. I might have a peep moment during the draft. Yeah. Okay. Just had to take think, a lap. I don't. I don't think it can be that bad, though. I mean, he doesn't want Caleb AJ Williams. Brown. AJ Brown and Justin Fields are. Is that even no, comparable? I, this this is what's nice though is like the Bears to me there's like there's 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 things I'd rather them do, but at the end of the day if they go the if they go a different route it's not like it's not terrible it's just yeah. like not what I want them to do. They're gonna. They're but you taking, just got blindsided. They're taking oh, Caleb yeah. Williams. They're just get, prepare yourself for it. They are taking Caleb Williams one. It's happening. Oh, I'm gonna have to have a diaper on. You, Put the diaper on. I I need a diaper on for good things. Like if the like when the Vikings took Justin Jefferson, there was shit everywhere, and he wasn't prepared. No diaper. There was no diaper on. Like it was a mess, an absolute mess. So uh, we'll see. Maybe uh, Caleb Williams goodness. refuses to play for the Bears. Maybe he re- is that it, what you're hoping? Is what? Caleb Williams refuses to play for the Bears, so they don't draft him. I, who's gonna do that? He might do it. There was reports like months ago that he might do that. I don't know if he does, but who in the world does that? What college athlete? Who Eli do you think Manning. You are? Eli Manning refused to play for who? Do you refuse to play for? Chargers. Yeah, Chargers. 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 Yeah. yeah. And they uh, still drafted him, didn't they? And then they traded him. Uh no. I don't think they drafted. I think him. they still. I think they still drafted him and traded. That's what I thought. But... Maybe yeah. I don't know why I don't remember, but um. He kind of forced his way to the Giants, so that was that was interesting. Right, but that right, like and Phillip went to the Chargers. I, just from my point of view, I mean, call me the old man that's uh, that yells at the cloud, but you get this opportunity to play in the National Football League. You go and you have the opportunity, and you yeah, and you have the opportunity to go one overall. You don't complain now and say I don't want to go there. Like, who are you? Who are and, you? And any, I, I mean, to be honest, like anybody with that kind of attitude, do you really want them on your team? Uh, That's what's no. You want someone who's gonna, he who wants to be there. Yeah. That's what. That's what I think. That's what you're thinking. 
like I hate this whole uh, I hate this era that we're in now where players can just force their way onto certain teams. Yeah, I mean it happens in basketball more than football, but yeah, hopefully football is not heading in that direction. It kind of feels like a little bit, but I don't know. You you <clears throat> you kind of seeing the NFL uh, players that just force their way out of their current situation, but then teams will always like. It seems like they try to screw them. Like Odell wants out, and then the Giants are like, "All right, we're going to send you to Cleveland, buddy. Good luck." You kind of see like, and I I like it that way, where the owners kind of like try to take it to them a little bit for them being a diva. But what are you going to do? What are you going to do? All right, yeah, that's I, a that's a nice sweatshirt you got on there. It's very soft. It's an interesting color. It's like a. It's, it's, it looks red. It's, it looks just straight red. Yeah, on the camera it looks just straight red, but it's not. It's like um, it's it's in between a red and a pink and a salmon. Like a, that's salmon. It's close yeah, it to salmon. Yeah. It does, the the camera looks just straight. It looks like just um, red. In the video, it might actually look. It sounds funny, but in the video, it might actually look closer to the actual color because what you guys are looking at is what I'm looking at. It's my monitor. My monitor has. The vibrant setting way up, but that doesn't go to the video. The video doesn't see my monitor settings, obviously. So um, it's a it, it looks like a yeah, it looks like a light. It's kind of close to a light lighter red, but it's it's close to pink. Not really a pink guy, but I like it. It's very soft too. Um, it looks soft. <laughs> you can feel it through the camera. <laughs> yeah, I can, I can feel that through the camera. That's yeah. nice. Thanks. Thanks. Glad you noticed. <laughs> Um. Well, okay, that's gonna well, do it. We're losing it for the conference championship pickums. We'll be back next week in a live stream. We still have to figure out a date. And there's a giveaway in that too, where we're gonna be announcing our awards. We have some fun ones. We had a great time last year on it. Um. So turn notifications on. Join us for that. We have off-season uh, videos as well rolling out. More to come. Join us on Twitter. That's gonna do it. Thanks for watching. Goodbye. Mm-hmm.